Jared Spaulding is suing carpenter Julio Ramos for the return of his fee to fix a leaking back door. Mr. Spaulding, let me see if I generally understand both the complaint and the response. The defendant was retained by you to do some repair work in your house, and one of the things he was supposed to do was fix a back door that was leaking. A back door that was leaking in the surrounding area around the door. And he was hired to do that in September of last year. Correct. And he did do the work. He did do the work. Rain came, and it was still getting wet inside. That's correct, Your Honor. Mr. Ramos came back. Uh, no, Your Honor, he did not come back. He didn't come back? No, I let him know that the door and around the door was still leaking. We discussed it. He said he was going to take care of it, but he never came back out. He never came back? No, Your Honor. Oh, Mr. Ramos, I misunderstood your response, sir. I thought you had tried to fix the back door leak. Yes, ma'am. Did you try to fix it? I sent uh, multiple people on two different occasions after he contacted me. Uh, once was with my witness, Mr. Velasquez, and myself. Another time was with Mr. Velasquez and another employee of myself uh, under the name of Luis. Did somebody else come back? Yes, other Your than... Honor. Oh, okay. Mr. Spaulding, let's get it clear. Your Honor, his witness came back just to temporarily seal the just area that was leaking. Le Mr. Spaulding, so I don't care whether I irritate you, but just so that you don't irritate me, I don't want you to perceptually make it appear as if this man was unresponsive to you. It leaked, you called, and you said he was unresponsive. Well, that's not true. So if you want to proceed and believe you have a modicum of success, then let's get the perceptions right. The door was still leaking. The water was still coming in. You contacted him. Did he respond to you? Yes, Your Honor. All he... right. How long did it take him to respond to you? I sent him an email, and he responded the same day. Perfect. That's an answer. And he responded the same day, and what did he do? He said that he took full responsibility, that he was certain that he would replace the door, and he sent out his witness to temporarily seal an area to keep any water from coming in. Sounds like a perfectly responsible businessman to me. You sent him an email, said it's leaking, I take 100% responsibility for the leak, I sent my work person out. And then? And then his witness came out, they applied some sealant around the door, but it didn't <laughs> fix the leak. We still had water coming in, we oh, had so water streaming. No, so that's no good. Correct. That you had leaking coming in. Yes, Your Honor. And then it was determined that the door was defective. The door was leaking. The door, I believe, is defective, but also the insulation around the door is leaking and not done to standard. I have well, I don't pictures know. to show that. I don't the... know what the standard is, but you see, Mr. Ramos says that he acknowledges that the door is defective. His defense is that you had him put in a custom handle. No, on Your the Honor, door. that's not true. Did you have him alter the handle? No, Your Honor. The door Nothing. did not come with a handle. We had to purchase a handle. I have a picture showing that the okay, door... so the door came without a handle. Correct. And you went out separately and bought a handle. That's correct, Your is Honor. Is that correct? That is correct. That you installed. That is correct. Your defense is to the leaky door, because this is not your expert to tell me about acceptable installation, I assume. No, Your Honor, no, this good. is not. Perfect. So you don't have an expert to tell me that it was defective installation of the door. Mr. Ramos acknowledges that the door is defective. Your Honor, I have a video. I'm speaking. 